Debate continues tonight over a new classroom quarantine policy announced this week by Governor Kevin Stitt. He says the science, the studies and the experts support him on this. But in my investigating, I found getting kids back in the classroom and changing classroom quarantine policy are two very different conversations. This is what's best for our students, period, end of story. Not just sending kids to class, but keeping them there. That was the goal of a new quarantine policy announced this week by Governor Kevin Stitt. Schools that enforce the use of masks will not have to quarantine potential exposures unless they are showing symptoms. The governor announced the new, less strict policy after discussing a new study from the American Academy of Pediatrics. There were some things in the presentation that did bother us a little bit. Dr. Dwight Sublett is the president of the Oklahoma chapter of the AAP. We're not trying to tell the governor we don't want to put the kids back in the classroom. That is not it at all. Dr. Sublett says there are two very different issues at play here. One, he said, is can we put our kids back in school at least a couple days a week? Dr. Sublett says if everyone is masked and socially distanced, we probably can. And that the governor is correct when he says research shows the risk of student-to-student -student transmission is relatively low. It is an opinion shared by the director of the CDC. That K through 12 schools can operate with face to face learning and they can do it safely and they can do it responsibly. But changing school quarantine policy, Dr. Sublett says, is a different issue entirely. And his organization, the one the governor cited as evidence to make the change, does not agree. The idea of just sending the patient with COVID home and leaving the others in the classroom, staff and students, uh, doesn't make much sense and in fact is, in our opinion, risky in doing that. Still, Dr. Sublett is quick to reiterate they want kids in school and on that they are with the governor 100 percent. We're not trying to push back on what they're trying to do. In fact, we applaud what they're trying to do, but we want to be helpful. We want to make sure we, they understand all that's going on here. Now I've reached out to the CDC in Atlanta, which says it is reviewing the governor's quarantine policy, which is different than the CDC's. I also reached out late this afternoon to the governor's office, asking them to respond to that opinion you just heard from the American Academy of Pediatrics, but have not yet heard back.